Now you tell me further. Why else did he say is a part of my limitation? In verse 15, I'm from the family of Manasseh, which is poor. And I'm from the half tribe of Manasseh, which is handicapped. And what's the last thing he said? And out of all of my poor family, I'm the poorest of them all. Yeah. Out of all the losers, I'm the biggest loser. Out of all of the failures, I'm the number one failure. And all of them that have been embarrassed and embarrassing, I got the gold trophy. Out of all of them that have been a mess up, I'm the most mess. Out of all of them that have been confused, I'm the most confused. Out of all of them that have been pathetic, that's why I'm over here hiding this wheat to try to have something so when the Midianites come, at least I can survive. Out of all of the desperados, I'm the most desperate. And I don't see any miracles. And I don't see God doing anything that I heard he could do. And in the midst of all of that, God sent an angel. He said, I've got good news. It's going to shock you. It's going to rock the world. I'm going to cut to the cleat. I'm going to get right to the quick of the matter. I'm coming straight down home base. I'm going to come right to the strike to the strike zone. You are a Man of God. Yeah. It's time for you to start fighting. Yeah, right. You've been running, you've been hiding, you've been complaining, you've been moaning, you've been making excuses, lies, and alibis, but now is the time for you to get ready to fight. You yeah. can't say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I can't finish the story except to tell you he did get up. He did have some questions. Yeah. He did need some information. Yeah. But he did fight. Yeah. And he did win. Yeah. Go to the book of Romans. Go to the book of Romans. Go to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 2. Go to Romans chapter 2. Go to Romans. Romans chapter 2. I'm about to come in. I'm about to come in now. Thank you, let me get up early today. Thank you. Thank you. Let me be a substitute preacher. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Put some fight. Thank God to put some fight into you. Somebody said, I feel the fight coming back. I feel the fight coming back. Say it again, I feel my fight coming back. My God, listen to what he said. Listen to what he said. Listen to what he said in Romans chapter 2 and verse 4. Take verse 3. And thinkest thou this, O man? 2 and 3. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judges them that do such things, that doeth Thus the same, you're doing the same thing that you're judging somebody else for. Do you think you're going to escape God's judgment? Or despise thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering and knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance? Looking at somebody else, what was wrong with him, and miss the riches of God's goodness. Somebody say God's goodness. There are riches, great wealth that is designated for you in God's goodness and forbearance. That's like patience, God's long suffering. And you know the goodness of God is going to lead you to repentance. In other words, the biggest fight is for you to wake up yeah. Yeah. and see how much ammo you have at your disposal. Can I say that again? You're so busy looking at what somebody else is doing. Why don't he do something? Why don't mama do something? Why don't they do? Why don't they get it together? And you don't see that's not even your sign. God has riches. Of good 
this, and all you need to do is turn around and recognize. All right. And somebody say, God's got more goodness than I recognize. In fact, they want to write that down. God has more goodness than I recognize. I knew he was good, but he's better than I even had known. Say yes. yes. I knew he was a lily of the valley, but now I found he's a bright morning star. I knew he's the king of kings, now I found he's the Lord of lords. I knew he could heal my soul, now I found he could heal my body. Right. I knew he was alpha, now I found he's omega. Say yes. yes. I know he could straighten out my mind, but I didn't know he could straighten out my home. Yes. I knew he could straighten out my home, but I didn't know he could straighten out my money. Yes. I didn't know, I knew he could straighten out my past. Now I can see he straightened out my future. Somebody say he's better. I ever knew. Turn the page and go to Ephesians. Go to Ephesians chapter 2. And we'll leave you alone. Go to Ephesians chapter I think I'll close the book after this. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians. Ephesians. That's the church that had no major scale. Most of the other churches had to be corrected. But Brother Hodges, the Ephesus church was in pretty good shape. Yeah. Matter of fact, you know what I would call Blue Tabernacle, if I could rename it just for a few hours to Curry, the Ephesian church. <laughs> Corinth, they had all kinds yes. of confusion. Yes, sir. Thessalonian church, a bunch of lazy saints. You yeah. wouldn't take a job. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. The Colossian church, a confused church. They were talking more to angels than they were talking to Jesus. They had problems. They had problems. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And um, Philemon, he thought he could hate people. And that would help him love God. Yeah, yeah. The Roman church, they had never received the full truth. They were still in a stage of development. But the Ephesian church was in good shape. But since you're in good shape, I don't want you to lose any battle. That's all he tells them in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 7. We'll go to verse 6. We'll go to verse 5. We'll go to verse 4. Just stop there. What God? What God? Look at his wealth again. Here's his wealth again. Here's his wealth again. God, who is what? Rich. Say that rich. Rich. God, who is rich in mercy. Rich in mercy. He hasn't run out on us. For his great love, wherewith? He loved us. What kind of love? Great love. So much love that brought us back from the dead. Yes. Love will bring back life yes. to a dead heart. Yes. Even when we were dead in sins, yes. He's quickened us. Yes. And quickened me, given us a shock yes. of new life. Yes. Quickened us together with Christ because you're saved by grace. And he's raised us together in verse 6 and made us sit together what kind of places? Yeah. Heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And here you go. That in the ages to come, that in the ages to come, yeah. that in all the years that are coming, all of the decades, all of the centuries, yeah. all of the millennia, in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches uh -huh. of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Everybody say, riches of his grace. And you get to know that by experiencing his kindness. That's how you get to know how rich God has willed you to be. Because he'll show it to you by his kindness. And maybe I didn't just tell you that that's, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, hey, maybe I just need to tell you that that's how you win your battle. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to say this and leave you alone. You win it by being a vehicle yeah. of the kindness oh. of God. Yeah. You don't know how much wealth you have. Oh, if you got a lot of wealth, you don't know how much grace you have. But you got a lot of grace. But you never know it until you experience 
the kindness of God. Can you hear me? Say, I hear you. I hear you. It doesn't look like a shell that's in a dirty mess. But if you take that egg, there's power in that egg. In that egg, there's a wife. And in that egg, there's a yolk. All you see is the shell. But that shell, you can get a cake. If you know what to do with that egg. You know what to do with that egg? Yeah, you can make some eggnog. You do know what to do with that egg? It'll make the steak taste better. I'm going into consecration today, right? Yeah, it's all in the egg, and all you're looking at is the shell. But in that shell, there's some power that's greater than what you see on the outside. If you hear me say, I hear you. I hear you. Well, Paul, 
Floyd says Floyd Henry is one of the possible beneficiaries. But that's my late father. I said, well, what about Lemuel? I said, what about Lemuel? <laughs> Come on, Bishop. <laughs>
the riches of God's grace by the goodness of God's grace. He has shown unto us all of his riches for the ages ahead. Say yes. Finally. Ephesians the last time. Finally. Finally. Look at what he said again in verse 7. In the ages to come. You're going to show it to me. It's already started. And in the ages to come. He's going to show it to me. What's he going to show to me? He's going to show you the exceeding what? Riches. What? Of his grace. Read it again. He's going to show us the exceeding riches of his grace. In who? Yes. In what? His kindness taught us through Christ Jesus. And hey, Brother Travis, just give me what I've been meditating on. Real preachers always have something to tell. Real missionaries, they always have something from this book. Real deacons, real deaconess, real choir members, real praise leaders, real Sunday school workers, real youth workers. Every time I got on and say, I got a word. to come. That's when it's going to be dramatized and put on exhibition in the ages to come. That's when he's going to lift the shroud and you can see the artistry in the ages to come. That's when he's going to open the curtains and let the sun shine in in the ages to come. It's already there. But he's going to show it to us. His exceeding riches in the ages. Somebody say, in the ages to come. And I said, oh, Lord, I can hardly wait for what you're going to do 5,000 years from now. I can hardly wait to see your riches when we get on the other side. Say, preach, Pastor. I can hardly wait to see what it's like to be in the number with the saints. Go marching in. Say it. I can hardly wait to see what it's like with my feet. Strike sign. And I can lay
of decades and decades, you can hear me say, I hear you, of the accumulation of years and years come from the accumulation of months and months of a total of four weeks and weeks come from 30 days and days come from many hours 24 hours come from minutes minutes come from seconds in other words he's showing right now his riches of his kindness the kindness of eternity is right now the healing of eternity is right now the power of eternity is with the joy of eternity the peace of eternity the truth of 